capture the activity that we get into this zone right here, I want to see the price action, what it actually does when it gets into the 53 zone, 53,000, 54,000. Now, if you remember, I pointed this out. This is an energy zone. That means when it hits here, um, its price action is going to become very um, informative. Uh, so I want to see how it acts. There we go, 53,000. So we now hit this zone. Let's see what it does. Does it spike straight up? Does it uh, pull straight back? What, what, what is its price action going to do? See how it's just stopped right here? That's very, very, in, that's telling us something. Boom, boom, boom. See if you get extreme acceleration. Doop, doop, doop. Look at that. Now it's at 2.86% of a rise. Uh, we've entered the zone. Let's see the activity if it just explodes and it's starting to. <laughs> this is very key. <clears throat> So this is what I'm talking about, energy. Um, this zone was predetermined days ago. I, I, it's all a matter of statistics and math. So how it acts in here is very important. It tells us something. It tells us a story. I'm sorry, I'm using these trading view charts and they, they kind of suck. <laughs> but they're so easy to use. So that's your trade-off. Uh, Everything has an equal and opposite in life. And we can see we're starting to pump here. Now, if you've seen BNB coin, there you go. You're above the 217. I drew the pattern here. And this is ugly. This is not the kind of price action you want to see on a percentage basis. You don't go from all the way down here in, in 80s or 100, that was high. But now you're in the 300 range. You have a defined pattern that has the volume metrics that I look for. All of this matches up. So this will likely get above here to some degree and then crush all the way back down to here. Uh, let's see. It has a match in not only price, but in geometry, but also in volume. That's very key. And there's a few other things too that I can see in the numbers that tell me that this is gonna get a pullback to under um, the 240 range. So this is actually going to turn out to be a good short. Mm -hmm. So here we are back with um, Bitcoin and I've just exited half above 57k which is this box that we had right here and uh, we have a valid wolf wave. Now what makes this valid? Well geometry, volume, dynamics, everything corresponds. It's followed a trend line out down here. Uh, this is its uh, setup for its final move upwards, which was this over here. It'll probably tag back up to around the 57, eh, somewhere in here, it doesn't matter. It, it's hit this line and now it is um, basically looking to go out in the future uh, and for us to drop back. Now this is just a small pattern short term doesn't really mean much to me. What does mean much to me is, uh, let me show you. Let's go to a four hour chart. Um, we are outside of this box above its trend line. So we're really pumping here. And what does mean more to me is the pattern that we broke out from. Okay, now if I go over and I go from the bottom of this pattern right here, um, and we look at the lows. Uh, let's see what that is. It's around 43,700, right? And then we look at the breakout, which is right around 50,000 um, through 50,300. 50, so it's about seven thousand dollars, right? Uh, if we bracket this across from where it broke out and then pulls back down to here, um, and now it's gone all the way up to here. 
57,500 is the perfect target on this. Anything above 57,000. Um, so what happens from here? Well, at some point after this pulls back, it's likely to go all the way back down to the 44,000 and under this upper 43,000 range and basically test here as well as this right down here. And there's a good possibility that you can test in the future all the way back down here. And if that happens, that's why I want to be a buyer under here, under the 44,000 um, if that occurs. Uh, I hope it does. Uh, there's no way to tell, of course, because maybe Elon Musk and everybody in the hedge fund industry doesn't care anymore. And they're going to just send it up to 100K because let's look at the longer term. And here's something to keep in mind. If we look at the longer term going out in the future, we have nothing till we hit this $118,000 level. So playing this short-term pullback, I think this is logical from what I could tell short-term, um, at least to 43,000. And before we get continuation upwards later in the year and whatnot, this extends all the way out, as you can see, until uh, you get into the new next year. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, so the 10% that you see that I bought here I exited half of it and averages out to just around um, 30,000. I bought one at 20,000, 31,500, average that out, and that's 30,250, basically. Uh, so um, exiting half of that and taking the profits, and we'll wait to see what happens. But that's the short term of it, that on there. Now, the other one is the ones that. A few people have messaged me and they've taken the short on um, BNB, which I think is a great play, especially above 228. And let's go over and let me show you that. Doo, 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 doo. I think this is a fantastic play, especially if this is a 200% level right here. This, the volume, everything matched up on this and it looked very, very manipulated by you know who, um, CZ and gang. Uh, I've seen them do this before and they're, they have volume markers that I can tell. So this is a really good trade and I think you're probably gonna extend even further than under the 240, but this would be the target. Let's not make any mistake about that, this. Now I can see people getting all the way back down to under 200 right in this area right here as a secondary target. One way you can play this, and because you know, I was asked about this, if they wanted to take more risk, is that you would exit half of your position here. So let's say uh, 50%, 50% exit, and make that blue. And boom, and so you do 50% exit, and then you target the rest right down here, 100% of it right down here, uh, if that makes sense. So that's an option and so forth for you. You know, um, if uh, for those who traded this, um, it is what it is. I, I don't have to tell you the pattern was there. It matches with volume, everything on here, um, and it has those. CZ manipulative markers that I call them uh, because they're one group that likes to manipulate. Anyway, those are the two things that are going on. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Other than that, I will update you later in the week if I see anything interesting. Um, you know, I've got asked questions on all kinds of different um, coins. Right now, it, it's uh, kind of dangerous. Uh, is the only way I could put it to you nicely uh, because there are a lot of coins that, uh, you know, a, a lot of new name coins, like here's one, the, the Dodo uh, that we saw here. This is kind of insane, the price movement on this, if we look at the, the way this is moving and whatnot. But uh, so a lot of people like to gamble with this, these new coins that just came out. I don't know the value of this. There's no history to it. There's no charting or no anything. So the, if you have information on this, you know, um, 
great, but there's nothing here. You know, I can't technically look at this and, and arrive to any conclusions. This is too young. It's new. It's just born. So we'll see. Um, you know, uh, this is not my, my area of expertise. Uh, I'm a technical trader. I look for things that have a high probability of occurring um, for trades. So do keep that in mind. And other than that, I will talk to you later in the week. You guys have a great week and a great weekend. <laughs> All right. Bye.